Hi everyone, it's Emmy. It is August 6th. It's been a week since I put the Mightaway Quick Strips, the formic acid strips on two of my hives. And after I put the MAC strips on, I also did a oxalic acid drip, dribble drip on my nucleus colony because they are in the process of requeening. So I didn't want to do the Mightaway Quick Strips. So I am putting those on because I just did a, a week ago, I did a mite check and I found that all of my hides needed to be treated. They met the threshold. If you have three mites or more for a half cup of bees, then it is time to treat. And so I am back now to remove the Mightaway Quick Strips. Although on the packaging it says you can leave the strips there and the bees will dispose of it themselves. It's gonna be a pretty warm day. It's gonna be about 90 degrees. I'm just gonna take the strips off, put them in my compost, and yeah, check again, like always, signs of my queen. And just like always, I hope it's going to be a quick dive into the hives, but it usually ends up being longer. I'm going to go into my Reba split, my split that I did from my original hive that I requeened with a Rhode Island Beekeeper Association a dud grant queen. And uh, I'm going to check in there because I did the full dose for that hive because it's a pretty much a full size hive. My original hive because they've swarmed a couple times and they've also requeened a couple of times much smaller size colony so I just applied one strip and in about two weeks I will apply the second strip for the second half of the dosage I didn't want to bombard them with too much because they are so much smaller so uh, yep yeah, gonna go into the Reba hive first and take those strips off and then check the big one and then I'll check the little one to see my little nucleus colony to see if they have a mated queen yet. When I went in there last, about three days ago, in the nucleus colony, I just quickly looked when I did my dribble test, I spotted the queen, a virgin queen, I believe, because I didn't see any eggs. I hope to see some eggs today because I hope that means she's mated, but you know, we shall see. All right, let's get in there. <laughs> okay, here we are, lots of activity, lots of fanning. It is pretty warm, so yep, let's get in there. It's August 6th, as I just said, and we're coming out of dearth. Um, around here, we're smelling pepper bush already, or clethra, so that's in bloom. So um, also during my way quick strip treatments, you're not supposed to be feeding, so I have no feeders on any of the hives, and I'm just giving them some supers and some space so they can start collecting nectar out there, and the goldenrod will be coming in soon too. Okay. So last time I gave him this top super, this is an empty super, just to give him some room to get out of the formic acid fumes, just as a little place to refuge from. Make sure my queen's not on there. Let's see her. And what are these girls doing? Nothing in here yet, which is fine. So this is pretty much empty, which I expect, but I'll leave that on there. Okay. Uh, give him a little puff just so I can see what's going on in here. Last time I was in here, I brought a frame of brood up to encourage them to start making, uh, drawing this out and to get some brood up into this box. Ideally by winter, we want to have three brood boxes because I'm running mediums. So that will get them off to a solid start. So let's see what they've been doing up here. This is all syrup and honey, or nectar, I should say. Let's see what's going on here. This looks like syrup stores as well. There's some capped brood here. And here. Oh, I see some eggs and some newly hatched brood. That's good. See on the frame next to it. That means the queen has been up here recently. If bees are looking at you, you always want to give them a little puff. That means they're watching you. Don't see anything on that frame. All right, let's go down deeper. Okay, so I did see some eggs on that frame. I'm gonna give them an empty frame in between here. See if they draw it out.
Okay, button this one back up. Make sure there's a tight fit between all the frames. Let's go deeper. Okay. I'm going to push these bees down and just get into here because these are where I applied the strips. And there are the strips. I'm just going to take them off. look in there and see if we can see any some eggs in there. Okay. Give them a little puff here. Clear them out a bit. Oh, there's some capped brood. And what's in there? I see some capped brood, some good pollen stores. I'd like to see the queen or signs of her. That's today's goal. That's every day's goal, actually. <laughs> Queenie. Okay. I see newly hatched brood. I see eggs. That's great. Newly hatched brood, newly hatched brood. I see eggs. And this next frame is a really nice frame of brood, capped brood. So I don't see the queen, but I see eggs. So I'm going to stop right after I show you this frame. So that is some nice capped brood. And there is a good laying pattern right there. So I'm just going to button this up. Oh, I should also look at the mite drop. So before I do that, um, I'm actually going to look at the mite, mite drop, which is on the bottom there. That's kind of important too. To give me an idea of how bad the infestation was even though it did not on my account. Okay, so when we put these frames in, I like to give them a wiggle to give the bees a chance to get out of the way. And then come back. Give them a wiggle, a little wiggle. Together. Okay, now let's go down deeper and see what the mite drop looks like. I don't have a, I don't have a removable bottom board on the setup, so can't check that. So here's a slatted rack. Give that to them for extra ventilation. And let's look at the mite drop. My drop doesn't actually look so bad. I don't think this colony was too badly infested. I do see some mites. There's one right there. Uh, but not, not tons. Which is great. Okay. Okay, so now we're back at the original hive. Bee numbers or bee population is much smaller here. This hive just accessory we cleaned. So I hope my queen is all right. And we just want to quickly look at the bottom board to see the mite drop. Queen's not there. This is getting really purpleized.
right, I see capped brood. What I want to see is more eggs. I'm still here and that she's still laying. So, spicy bees looking at me, we always give them a puff. Okay, full, great. I see signs of a queen. This whole frame is covered with eggs, which is great. Great laying pattern. Let's see if I can spot my queen. Queens are very fast. They tend to run. Here's newly hatched brood. This is great. Um, they move really fast and the queens have golden legs. So this is a frame that I probably would see her on since they're just recently laid eggs. Don't see her. Okay, that's a great laying pattern. Well, that's a decent laying pattern. It's not great. There are some holes. Uh, but in those holes, let me see if there are eggs. So, I just spotted a cup and there was an egg in there. So, that is a sign of swarming. So, I should probably find my queen and uh, create an artificial swarm. So, this might be a hunt for the queen in this episode. Hunt for the queen. Don't see her in that frame. Don't expect her to find her on a honey frame, but you never know. That's what this is. Why they want to swarm, I have no idea. This hive has lots of room. Good laying pattern. More brood. Uh, brood are baby bees, by the way. I know I use these terms and people may not know what I'm talking about, but that central portion there are baby brood, or brood, um, which are baby bees. Okay. So, let's see. This frame. There's nothing on that frame. So I'm gonna move that into here. Give them a frame of emptiness to work on. This too just has some syrup on it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging to give them some more room here. Okay, syrup. Put this right here next to, I'm gonna put this actually in the middle here of the brood nest to give her some more room. All right, let's go down deeper so we can remove that max strip. Okay, here's the uh, formic acid strip. I only put one, the five is so much smaller. It's done its job. And uh, let's take a peek down in here. These are looking at me, give them a little puff. I do see eggs on that frame. That's great. Eggs. Let's look for a queen. Lots of eggs, actually. This one's got a nice frame of eggs laying on, laid on there, which is good. I don't see the queen. Not that many bees. I should be able to find the queen in this hive. completely empty so I'll put this there's plenty of room for her so I'm not sure what that queen cup was all about plenty of room to lay those are all empty lots of room plenty of pollen stores that's for sure let's take that one out Okay. 
So, more cups. More cups, empty. That one has an egg in it. So, no larva, but an egg. So I'll have to come back here in about three days and check this hive again. Ugh. What I'm doing now is they're getting a little cranky here. It's hot and I'm fussing, but I'm gonna combine these two brood chambers into one, to three brood boxes into two brood boxes because this population is pretty small. And one of my smokers always dies when you need it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna combine, I had a frame of bees in here. I'm gonna put this frame next to it. This is a frame of eggs, so next to that frame, I'm going to put this frame of capped and developing brood right there. Okay, I'll close this one up. I almost forgot. Let's do a quick check with the bottom board and see how. Uh, mite drop was. This was the most infested hive. I had 11 mites per half cup. And this small hive beetle. This is pretty cool. This bee is attacking a small hive beetle. You see that? It's pretty cool. In terms of mite drop, not a huge load, which is great, but I do see some, but I will treat this hive again. There's some right there in two weeks. Oh, there's a hive beetle. Let's kill that. If you ever see a hive beetle, we squish those. Might make a trap for this hive because it is small and uh, therefore weak, but not a huge mite drop, which is good. Not too badly infested. Okay. So, formic acid strip, the max strip, has been removed. I saw signs of eggs, didn't see the queen. Um, I'll probably have to come back in here and remove one of these supers. It's a bit hot and sweaty right now. I have to get my extractor equipment set up and reduce the number of hive bodies on this hive. <laughs> Due to the population size, it's a lot of hive to defend, so I'll come back and do that. I did see a couple swarm cups, as I did a week ago, with an egg in them, which is indication of swarming, which I don't really understand because there's a lot of room in this hive, and the flow has just started, but um, I don't think this hive would survive yet another swarm. So, I should come back in here and look for the queen <laughs> and do a preemptive split I think is what I should do. Um, but I didn't see the queen so I'm gonna come back in two days see how those swarm cups look um, or if there are more cups and then do a split then if I do see more with eggs in them because that means that that's what they're planning. I did do some rearranging with the frames to make sure the queen knows there's more and plenty of room for her to lay so Bees, always an adventure. All right, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to climb into the nuke probably later today when it's just not so sweltering hot and see if I have a laying queen. All right, see ya. Bye.